care is an issue that affects thousands of Arizonans a year. And the problem is only getting worse since the Department of Economic Safety implemented a wait list for child care assistance after federal pandemic relief funds ran out. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon joins us live this morning. So Andres, you spoke with one organization on how they're helping parents and caretakers. What's the approach that they're taking here? Yeah, guys, I spoke with First Things First. It's an organization dedicated to early childhood development, and they said that child care impacts way more than just the families, and they say that businesses should also be brought in to be a part of the solution. Take a listen. It's a win-win. Our economy benefits when more, um, more can be a part of the workforce and contributing. And also we recognize the importance of young children having high quality early learning experiences. That was senior regional director Jessica Harrington, and she said businesses can look at the toolkit made by the organization on what practices have worked for the businesses before. A simple but effective practice is getting your work schedule in advance. Now, predictive scheduling, according to Harrington, prevents call-outs and people scrambling to find child care at the last minute, which costs the employers in the state $950 million. One business in particular, Ballet Tucson, says that now that they know their hours ahead of time, they can plan ahead much more easily. And as the rehearsal director, I have to actually be here in person for um, any time the company dancers are on contract and they have 20 to 25 week contracts. So during those weeks, I, I know ahead of time that I have to be here during those specific hours. And then we have five performances um, or five reps throughout the year. So I know ahead of time what those theater weeks are and I can plan out um, when I'll need childcare um, very ahead of time, which is very nice. <laughs> All right, now practices and policies in that toolkit can always be adjusted depending on the business's size and resources. And if you're a business order here in Southern Arizona, you'd like to take a look at that toolkit, we'll have that available on KOLD.com. Live in Tucson, Andres Rendon, 13 News. Good Thursday morning to our